Hello. Today we spent most of the day just doing our own things. You met up with your mom and went shopping. Mm -hmm. I did not. I actually slept in way more than I normally do, which was like, what was it? It was like almost three o'clock when I woke up, which is crazy. Because it's been a while since I've done that. I've been waking up like a little bit earlier. What are you doing? Running from the stall. She's like looking around everywhere. I didn't know what she was doing. I was looking doing. at my hair. This is broken. Today is the last day with this camera. Tomorrow, I'm gonna smash it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna keep it. It's gonna be my backup camera for when I do things that uh, involve water or anything that would be a danger to the camera. Probably gonna take it with me everywhere I take the other one, just in case, so I can swap it out. Just because I don't wanna ruin the new one, but I can be a little bit more carefree with this one because it's pretty much broken anyway. Um, but yeah, September tomorrow, gonna start eating better doing better I know a lot of people say that and they feel like they got to start on like the first of a month or they need to start on a Monday or whatever but it's not like that for me it's more about the fact that in the summer you're hanging out with friends more often and you're eating bad foods and it's difficult to start a diet when you're in the middle of that I find it easier when summer's over and like that's not happening so then by the time the next summer comes you're better prepared to not eat badly but it's it's hard to just start and do it right away so that's why I'm starting tomorrow and why I didn't start during the summer in the summer I am more active like typically more active because I'm swimming and I'm like out doing stuff but I'm also out eating bad stuff so <sighs> This time I'm gonna do it. Well, I lost 10 pounds from the beginning of the summer till the end of the summer. Happy for you. I gained three pounds since the beginning of the summer, I think. Probably more than that. It's like three pounds lately, but I don't know how much I weighed at the start of summer. But I always gain weight in the summer, and if I didn't swim, I would probably gain so, 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 so much more. So it's the start. It's the start of something new, and I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna try things that I've never tried before, and along with the things that I was doing to lose weight back in 2016, because I did well then, and if I would've kept going, I would not be the size I am now. I should've never stopped, I don't know why I stopped, I don't know what happened that made me stop, it's just habit. You get out of the habit of doing like good things for yourself and you wreck yourself and that's what I did to myself so today is not about weight loss um, we're gonna if she has money I'm gonna get junk food because it's my last day it's not really my last day and I'll get more into that on my other channel I know I always say I'm going to make videos on my other channels and I rarely ever do but I am going to make a video at some point um, I've been working on one and I think I'm gonna do two parts and I'm going to release the first one that I've been working on um, I don't want to give a date because I don't know when but I am gonna eventually do that but tonight we're just gonna hang out with Tor and we're gonna play Pokemon and we're gonna eat bad foods and then tomorrow is gonna be the start and I do have a private Instagram that nobody can follow right now but I am going to make it public um, probably next month depending on how things go if I'm doing really well with everything then it will be public and if I'm not I'm gonna hold off until I am so that's what's going on there it is almost 8 o'clock and yeah I bought that's my all life. healthy food so I'm excited yeah, it's too. gonna be good. Now let's go get some Pokemon. Well, let's go get Toria and then let's go get some Pokemon. We played Pokemon for a while and we had snacks and stuff and we're having fun. Toria's right there. No, not. no she's not. That's a lie. Um, but we're going to bring her home and then tomorrow is another day. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. What do you want to do tomorrow, Tor? You should come over. Okay, what, am, what are we gonna do? I'll have to come over at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I can come over at 8 o'clock Actually, it'll be like 7.45. I can come over at 7.45. Well, I'll have an alarm for 8 o'clock. Okay, and I'll have an alarm for... 
I'll just go to school. I'll go to bed for like five minutes before we leave. I'll just go to bed in what I'm wearing. I'll leave leave my binder on and, and my crocs. I'll sleep with my crocs okay, on. I'll sleep with socks on. I can't yeah. imagine sleeping with crocs on. Oh, I love crocs. No, you don't you know what's worse than all of that? What? Tape, oh, tape on your foot. Why would you ever do that? Because life sucks. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? If you're rich and you can buy me Crocs, please do. My address is down below. Just give us Link, links in the you bio. Get a tattoo of a Croc. Crocs themselves will send you five free pairs. Actually? Yes. They said that. Well, no, but like I've seen someone <laughs> get it done and then get five free pairs. <sighs> okay, thank you. I'm gonna tattoo myself. Awesome. See you in the Bye. morning. Toodle oodle. Yolo. <laughs> Bye, Toria. I'll miss you. I know that today's vlog has mostly been in the dark and that's how it's gonna stay because I don't feel like turning on the light anymore and getting ready to go to bed but for the last like it's like seven weeks now we haven't had any money and we're stressed out and it really sucks we have family members helping us if we didn't have family members helping us we would have nothing and we would be homeless but thankfully we're not and we do have family members that are awesome but um that doesn't take away the stress and we're we're both really stressed out about money and it brings up like me getting a job and stuff and i know in that sense that i'm super unreliable and it's hard it's really hard for me because i don't want to be this way like i would love would love 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 to get up in the morning and just function like a normal person not have like overwhelming social anxiety and stuff and just be able to get a job and be able to work and be able to drive and all the things that i don't do i would love to do um i'd love to have my license but i'm so anxious about doing the road test that i just i haven't been able to do it and i don't think i ever will and if you've been around, you know that I haven't been to the dentist and I don't go to the eye doctor and barely ever go to the doctors and I don't see specialists and I'm supposed to see an endocrinologist and I haven't seen her in like almost four years. Like it's all bad, but it feels like it's not within my control because of my anxiety. And right now I'm stressed out because I should have a job and I should be helping bring income into this family, if you even want to call it that. And I'm not. So, stressed out about it. I just hope that tomorrow I can wake up and have a good day. Because normally, when I get depressed, it starts like this. It starts with sad days that turn into sad weeks that turn into full-blown depression. And I'm not ready for that. I don't want it to come back now. I don't want it to come back ever, but I know that it will because of my messed up brain. I just hope that I can wake up and tomorrow will be a good day. So, see you guys then and I hope for the best.